what's up and welcome back to my channel for this week's vlog we're doing this one a little bit different i'm going to basically try and take a story time and vlog footage and bring them into one so a few months back right when i got back from bali actually i started cruising adoption websites for Aww. dogs i i think it was partly because of the amount of dogs that were you know stray dogs in bali i've been thinking about getting bentley a sibling and i feel like because of like the self-isolation and all of that i was just like if there's any time to really focus on especially integrating bentley with a new dog being that he's seven and older now would be the time. Maybe two or three weeks after I got back from Bali, I reached out and I actually almost adopted this dog named Stella. She was beautiful, she was six months old, a German Shepherd, but she was the runt. So she was gonna be really, really small. Well, she was still growing, but by the time she would be full grown, she was actually gonna be on the smaller side. She was actually stuck in Turkey. And once all of the travel bans and everything basically got put into place, she wouldn't be able to be flown to Canada for quite some time. Actually, we weren't sure exactly when she would be able to be you know flown here but odds are it was looking like it would be closer to 2021 and I just kind of took it as a sign from fate right I was like okay that's fine it's clearly not meant to be the weeks and such that went by I would kind of go on and just like I feel like I was just in you know when you get like baby fever well I feel like I had puppy fever until last weekend I found this dog named Luna the person that originally got Luna had an older rescue dog and the older rescue dog was showing extreme signs of aggression against Luna and she needed to be rehomed if left unattended or just in general, things weren't working out. So I reached out. I volunteer as tribute. Knowing that I wanted to make sure that first of all, if I were to keep Luna, that her and Bentley would be able to mesh well. So that's also why I wanted to do a trial so that I could, you know, see how they got along, see how he, basically accustomed to having another dog here. I've had Bentley for seven years. Hello. Oh yeah, that looks like a good stretch. Get it. Bentley's a little prince. Like he has been my pride and joy since I've had him. And it's always been him and me. He's always had my undivided attention and affection. So I knew that no matter what, I wouldn't move forward with getting another dog unless I knew that it would work well for Bentley. So I offered to take Luna in and give it a little bit of a trial. Good morning, fam. What is up? Big day, or it could be a big day. I'm gonna sob. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, so if not, you might not already know this, but I feel like feminine energy has been the mood except for Bentley. Bentley will always be our masculine king. But I actually found out recently that also my niece, my niece, my sister's having a little girl too. So it's like so many girls. <laughs> oh, I just got goosebumps. So I'm gonna go put on half a face go pick up my car keys, and then let's go meet this little one. I hope they get along. The thing about Luna is she's only nine weeks old, so she is a baby baby. Like, specifically when you have puppies, if any of you guys have ever had a puppy before, they need a lot of attention, they really wanna play, and Luna is also a husky golden retriever mix, meaning that she is super happy, super bubbly, super social, and so I was like, all right, this is gonna be interesting, like Bentley, is a chihuahua dash hound. He's just like super mellow and chill, but he does get hyper and likes to play and all of that. So we go meet Luna. Okay, so we're here. Bentley was so good. His tail was wagging, her tail was clearly wagging. And they were just getting along. So I was like, okay, this is awesome, perfect. I'll rehome Luna for the time being, give it a few days to see how they adjust. So day one, okay? Luna, me, Bentley, we all come back to the apartment and they're playing for like the first, I wanna say 20 minutes. He's like running around, she's kind of chasing him. She's pulling out all of his toys. And I thought Bentley would get super territorial about his toys, but he was like playing with toys he hasn't played with in a long time. All right, I think they're both wiped. Bentley, when he met her, his tail was wagging and he was like, he was all happy and cute. He just went into his kennel now and he's taking a nap. I think he's pretty pooped. This is quite a change for him and now Luna's sleeping too. I was focused on making sure they got integrated nicely before vlogging or anything. You know, I'm sorry guys. I, I need like seven arms to be able to vlog and do all the things I want to do. I made myself some toast, so I'm gonna eat this while my children sleep. And then I'll catch up with you guys. And I'm like, 
this is perfect. Like I was literally like, they love each other. Like I love her, I love Bentley. Like we're just gonna be one big happy family, right? Well, uh... Good girl! Good girl. Okay, good girl. Yes, good girl. Meanwhile... Are you scoping out the situation? You're being such a good boy. They've been playing, but I think Bentley's kind of at that point now where he's like, why is she still here? Oh, and tonight's gonna be interesting. She has been crying a little bit. Like if I go upstairs, she starts crying and I'm like, okay, we're gonna work with that. We can work with it. But I definitely think tonight's gonna be very interesting. I don't think I'll be getting a lot of sleep tonight. So after about 20 minutes, he's like, all right, I'm done now. And this is something Bentley also does. So my sister has a dog named Dudley and he does this with Dudley too. Like he'll play with Dudley and then he'll suddenly hit a point where he's like, okay, I'm done now. I don't want to play anymore. So similarly, um, he was done playing and was sitting up here on the couch, just over here in the corner. And at this point, Luna couldn't jump up on the couch. Now she can. Luna comes over here. And at this point I'm like, she can't jump on the couch. Well, I was wrong. She learned how to jump on the couch within like three hours. So she goes to jump up on the couch and Bentley snapped. Like he had a little moment where he was like, no, he was trying to assert his boundary really. Like in the dog world, he was probably just like, this is my boundary, do not cross. And he was making that statement, right? But clearly I'm like, no. Luna away and the look on his face, I'm sorry guys, I get, I'm laughing now because it's cute, but I, I just like, I still get, Bentley makes me emotional, okay? When, ben, when Bentley is upset or sad or in pain, I get sad. So the look on his face was literally like, what the fuck? I think it just like spooked him, I don't know, but animals make me emotion, okay? Um, but yeah, she was fine. Like he didn't actually bite her or anything. It just scared me. It scared me and I was like, Bentley! And he was like, what? Like, and I just start, Falling. Like, I text Larissa. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I just yelled at Bentley and he seems so upset. So, Bentley actually loves his kennel. So, he runs off and he goes into his kennel and he won't come out. Like, he wouldn't come out for like two hours. And I was just like, oh frick, like, this isn't good. Like, I just felt, you know, when you feel so like guilty about something that you feel like sick to your stomach, like, that's the feeling I had mixed with this cocktail of joy and love for this little puppy that was just like wanting to play. I kept on trying to remind myself, you know, it's okay if they don't get along. Like, this is, we're just trying this out. We're just trying this out. But it was just like, I just felt so bad for him because I feel like he was like, oh, look, like someone's visiting us, someone to play with. And then after like an hour, he was like, why is she still here? But then he finally did to eat dinner. Then we all went outside. Things were fine. They were like sniffing each other's butts and stuff, you know, doing dog things. But when we came inside, he went right back into his kennel. He would not come out. And Luna and I played for a couple more hours and just chilled. I got some work done while she was napping. And then about 10, 11 rolled around and we went out. We all went out for our last potty break. Um, I take her out on a leash, but Bentley, I don't need to in the front lawn. So he was kind of running around and she's just like, she's mesmerized by Bentley, okay? She loves him. And she's just staring at him like, I have found my leader. Tell Bentley's liking being a leader a little bit. Like he was like, his ego was a little like, yeah, I'm king. for bed we all go upstairs we go to bed we get no sleep <laughs> Luna literally cried like every hour on the hour which again is totally normal for a puppy I took her out for a couple bathroom breaks throughout the night so then the first morning um, Luna gets up at like five so I'm just like okay I'm just gonna stay up I made myself a caffeinated coffee and Luna and I came down here. The thing is though, I instantly knew it was weird because Bentley always gets up when I get up and he didn't get up. Maybe it's because it's five in the morning, like he's still maybe tired, like this is pretty early, this is not normally our routine, so I'll let him sleep a little longer. Okay, 
so it is officially 8.30 in the morning. Um, I don't know about, well, I do know about her. I know Bentley got a great sleep, but Luna and I, on the other hand, Luna and I have been up since 5.30. I made coffee. This time it is definitely caffeinated. It's been a while, it's 24 hours, hasn't it? You're crazy, you're just like a little baby. He's just like, I'm just gonna lay here and keep, keep watching for a while. And I'm just gonna chew pillows, aren't you? Why are you chewing pillows? Hey, hey, what are you doing chewing pillows? But then a couple hours again starts rolling by and I was like, okay, he's still not getting up. So at this point, Luna was taking a nap. So I went upstairs and I had to literally like pull him out of my bed, bring him downstairs, put him outside, give him his food. And he wasn't really eating. And I was just like, he seems stressed, right? Instantly, I just had this gut feeling. I was like, I don't, I don't think he's gonna be able to adapt. Like I just don't. Not only that, the same day, the realtor for my apartment had to come to pick up the extra set of keys so that they can start doing repairs along the house when I move out, which is going to also be a, a hassle. Like I'm gonna have to get out of the house a few times in the next few weeks and things like that. And it all just kind of started to, I just started to have that feeling like I want this to work, but my intuition and all of these little signs from the universe are saying that this is probably not a very good time for this. I literally feel like a crazy person that hasn't slept in like four nights. Hello. Oh my God snuck a shower in and this morning I took both of them out on the leash and they were so good. Yeah. I somehow need to uh, put a face on, find a way to <laughs> conceal her long enough that I can put on a face. We go through our routine again. Bentley's really not being himself. He did come out and hang out a couple times. Like he'd come up and sit on the couch. I would just chill with Luna so that Luna wouldn't try and like, you know, jump at him or like play with him or anything. And he was fine. Like he was like watching us, which like good for him, you know, seven years by himself. The fact that he was even downstairs and hanging out with us, I was like, okay, like, He's at least not in his kettle, he's, he's doing all right. If this was April, we would have all the time in the world to get them integrated, but it's July and I'm leaving in September. If there's anyone that's more suitable for Luna, if anyone else can give her basically a better scenario or a more stable environment in the upcoming few weeks and months, then that'll be my sign from the universe that it's just not meant to be. I put that out to my spirit guides. If someone better comes along that, that can take, take her on, then that'll be the sign. And as soon as I decided that, it was like all of the stress kind of lifted off my chest. It was like, okay, I have a plan. <laughs> I'm gonna trust in the universe and I'm just gonna enjoy this puppy in the meantime. And then her and I practiced training. I got her to sit, I got her to lay down. We've done crate training for the last few days. And I even got her and Bentley walking together just in front of the sidewalk here. <laughs> started to kind of come around but at the same exact time a couple reached out and this couple not only lives on the outside of Toronto in a house they have a backyard they both had a history of both huskies and golden retrievers they have a trailer where they go to on the weekends that's out in the wilderness and they love to go hiking and I was like like I was really sad as much as I want Luna to have the best freaking life I also in my head was kind of just like, you know what, this is going to be difficult, but I can give her the best freaking life. And Bentley's adjusting, like, this is it, like, I'm going to keep her. I think she's going to be mine. And then the universe did its thing. And as soon as the couple reached out, it was just like, yep, that makes a lot of sense. So anyway, before I go any further, let me introduce you to little Luna. Come here, girl. So this is Luna. She is the sweetest, sweetest little girl. I'm sorry, like I said, animals make me emotional, so if I start crying again. I wrote out a massive pros and cons list. You know, I was like, I'm, I wanna keep her, I wanna, I wanna rehome her, 
but and if it was April, I 100% would because I would have more time to train her, more time for her and Bentley, or just Bentley really to adjust. She doesn't need to adjust because she's obsessed with Bentley. And more time to get things ready before I move. But it's July and I leave in September and I have to drive across Canada. And I was just like, the cons were definitely just the stability that she's going to need and trying to pack up a house with a little puppy and this perfect couple just sweeps in and I was just like, I have to make the mature adult decision. It's best for Bentley, it's best for her. Yeah, she's going to the couple. I got this toy for Bentley forever ago, but it's so big that he's never played with it. Like he's never been a fan, you know? But since getting here, this has been like her favorite toy. So I'm packing her up to go now and I'm gonna put this in the bag so that this little dino to remember us by. Don't chew that. No, don't chew that. Appreciate that I got to give her love and a safe environment for the week while she found her true parents. And her new, her new mama is coming to get her in like an hour. <laughs> and like, of course I'm really sad. <laughs> because I love her, like I already love her so much. Don't cry, just don't cry. I'm totally gonna cry. I don't want you to go. <laughs> I got to see how Bentley is with another dog, so. And if we had had more time, you know, if it was April, frig, if it was just April, they would have been besties, I'm telling you. But everything happens for a reason. And I learned a lot, you know? I learned that I love training puppies, first of all. Hey, sit, sit. spring once I'm in my new house and the weather's nice again I think then we'll adopt a Bentley a new sibling Come say bye. Say bye. so that's what we've been up to this week um, and that's also why this video is late by Wednesday it was still uncertain exactly what was gonna be happening so I wanted to wait I got to practice being a dog mummy to two and I'm just happy that she's going to a good happy home and yeah the may she forever go down in history as Bentley's foster sister of the week <laughs> I could see this through I could wait another night One more night, one more night I could fight it through Till the darkness turns to light One more night, one more night